Hey guys, so cherries are at the peak of their season and one of my favorite desserts to serve with them is a classic French cherry clafouti. If you're not familiar with a clafouti, it is an egg custard dessert that's typically served with cherries, although you can use really any fruit you like. You typically see them a lot in the markets in France and you'll see big slabs of them or sometimes even turned into a cake. It's the perfect little snack when you're shopping the markets and definitely always keeps my kids happy. So the first thing we're gonna do is create the batter for our clafouti. So in a large bowl, you're going to add three quarters cup of all-purpose flour, and then you're slowly gonna whisk in one and one quarters cup of milk. You wanna do it slowly so that you're able to really incorporate that flour well and that you don't have any clumps. And then to that, we're gonna add three quarters cup of heavy cream. You can stir that in. And then we're also gonna add two eggs and two egg yolks. Now I like to add the egg yolks because again, it's just gonna create a really delicious richness to our clafouti. And then we're gonna add half a cup of sugar and two tablespoons of kirsch. Now, if you're not familiar with kirsch, it is a cherry liqueur that just brings out the best flavor of the clafouti. But if you don't drink, that's okay. You could definitely leave it out. And instead, you might wanna add maybe a quarter teaspoon of almond extract. That would actually be really good. And then we're also gonna add one teaspoon of vanilla and a quarter teaspoon of salt, just to brighten all those flavors. Go ahead and whisk it up, and basically your batter is done. Okay, so here comes the hardest part of this recipe. It's not really hard, it's just tedious, which is pitting the cherries. And this is where I break with tradition, because I know in France it can be traditional to leave the pits in the cherries. A lot of people say that it actually brings out the best flavor in the cherries. For me, it brings out my anxiety as a mother. Hello, choking hazard. I do not want any pits in my cherries to desserts that I am feeding my kids. So I go ahead and take the time to pit them. Now to make this task go even easier, you are going to fall in love with the cherry pitter. It is this little contraption that you put your cherry in, you press this gadget, and voila, out comes the pit. I'll put a link in the description if you guys wanna know where to get one. And then at this stage, you can bake your clafouti either in an oven-safe casserole, or what I like to do, just because it's a fun rustic dessert, is bake it in a cast iron skillet. We're also just gonna lightly grease it with some melted butter. And then you can go ahead and place the cherries in a single layer on the bottom, and then we are gonna pour our beautiful custard on top. Then we are going to pop this in a 350 degree Fahrenheit oven for just about 35 to 40 minutes. We're looking for the clafouti to puff up and turn golden brown. That's how you'll know that it's done. And then go ahead and allow it to cool on your cooktop. And don't be alarmed because as it cools, it will start to deflate, but that's okay because that's what's gonna make this really dense and delicious. Okay, now at this stage, you've got two ways to go. You can either serve your clafouti warm, which is actually a popular thing to do here in the States. However, for my husband who is French, that is a real deal breaker, and it has to be served either room temperature or preferably cold. So you can go ahead and pop it in the fridge just like that. Usually for about two to three hours, we'll do the trick. And then the finishing touch, and I think this is probably just my American side, I do like to finish it with a little bit of powdered sugar, just because I think it looks pretty that way. And because this is a dessert that I usually serve when we're entertaining in a casual way, normally outside, I will just take a big spoon and spoon it out onto a plate and dollop with a little bit of homemade whipped cream. I will say this would be the perfect dessert to go with our shrimp rolls and corn salad. This is a great dessert for that meal because this too can be served chilled. If you missed that video, you can click the annotation and get caught up. I'll also put a link in the description. I hope you guys give this one a try and let me know what you think. And I will see you back here next week for another delicious recipe. Until then, bye. Une fille comme toi, elle est si belle. Une fille comme toi, aussi cruelle. Une fille comme toi, j'en ai toujours rêvé. Une fille comme toi.